Hello game developers, today we're going to be creating a health bar in Unreal Engine 5. This is a pretty quick and easy tutorial to follow, so if you guys could, it would mean a lot if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. If you guys like game dev, web dev, or anything computer science related, I got you covered for some content. Anyways, let's get right into this health bar tutorial. The first thing we're going to want to do is go into our first person character right here and go into our blueprints and then go to our bp underscore first person character here we're going to want to go down to our variables and create a new variable and it's going to be a, a type float and we're going to call it player health um let's make sure this variable is public and then let's make sure we compile and then set it to um health to be 100. um you can also make it one if you want to or 100 or 1000 whatever you want to make the health but for the tutorial's sake i'm going to make this 100. Uh, I'm going to compile this and I'm also going to set the category to be um, health for the player um, and then we can compile and save. We can close this for now. We're then going to go into um, our first person folder into our widgets folder and we're going to create a user interface of type um, widget blueprint and click on this user widget right here the common option and we're going to call it w underscore hud because we need a heads up display um, to display all of our information with the health. So let's double click on this. And like we always do with this, let's create a canvas panel and slide it right on top of our widget. And then let's go into common, the common area right here. You could also search it up, but we're gonna look for the progress bar. We're gonna drag it onto our canvas panel and then anchor it to the bottom left of the screen um, because that's usually where <laughs> progress bars like this usually are. Let's make it a little bit bigger um let's see how it looks for the tutorial's sake that looks pretty good we'll probably make it a little bit longer a little bit shorter um you can obviously do this to however you would like to um that looks good for me so make sure again that it's anchored to the bottom left of your screen and then we're going to want to scroll down to the appearance settings because if you make this one meaning full health in this case you can see that the slider is blue and we don't want the i mean unless you do but for this tutorial we're not going to make the health blue when it's uh fully lit so let's make it a red shade that looks pretty good and so now you can see if this is full health that's what that will look like so now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go into our uh our percent right here and click this little bind key and we're going to create a binding to make sure that we can adjust this value on the fly and make sure that it's updating so let's go into binding, create binding, and let's drag this out a little bit so we have some more room. Now, what we wanna do is we want to actually first, before we even get into this, we want to go to our event graph and go to our pre-construct. Also, you can delete those two last nodes if you're not using them. If you are using them, keep them, um, but I'm just going to use this one because this is all we need. For our pre-construct, we can do um, cast to bp underscore first person character because we want to cast to our character to get our player health from the character um, obviously this would be whatever character you have and then we want to get player character as we always do um, and then compile and then we want to promote this to a variable we should rename that variable like player ref or for player reference and now this is all we need in this event graph but let's go back to our binding and let's get our player reference and from our player reference we want to grab the player health so what we'll do is we'll get player health and then from this we will grab this number and like we did before i set my number to 100 so what we're going to want to do to make it one um in this case is divide and then we'll divide it by 100 to make it so it's um the float is equal in value what you could also do is you could also make it so that your player health is one um max so that um it correlates like directly and you won't even have to use this but this is the way to make it for typical player health where it's usually 100. anyways you're going to want to return this to the return value bring it to the return value and we can clean this up like so and compile and save now let's go back to our player character and let's do um let's actually display the hud so what we can do and what i usually like to do is i like to make it so that we have a section in our begin play where we have um just like initialized settings widget we should make an initialized hud widget so what we can do is we can go off of this and we want to create widget and we'll get it of type w underscore hud right down here the owning player will be get player controller 
keep it like so. And then from this, we're going to want to, I mean, it's up to you, but what I usually like to do is I like to promote it to a variable. So I have that variable. We'll call it, um, like we did here with settings ref, we'll call it um, HUD ref. Compile. And then we want to add to viewport like so. And now what I usually like to do is I like to go all over them and then we want to collapse to node. Oops. And then do the same thing we did here, which is init HUD widget. Great. So now by default, our HUD widget will be in the view because before with our settings widget, we just wanted to spawn it, but our HUD widget in this case will be on the screen at all times. So now if we start the game, we will see that the health is on the bottom left right here. Um, now let's actually go into making it so this will go down and we can test and see that it actually works correctly. So let's go into our BP underscore first person character into the event graph. And let's do a check basically to ensure that our progress bar is working. Essentially, this is going to be a harming functionality. So what we can do is we can look for the H key because of it. Let's look for the H key. Here it is. And off of press, we're basically just going to harm the player. So let's get the player health. And from this, we're going to want to subtract health. So we're going to get want to get rid of health. So let's subtract, uh, I don't know, like 25. And then let's go off of this value and then set player health because this will be the new player health when they're um, hurt by 25. And then off of this, um, I mean, this is really all you need. If you press H right here, it will keep lowering your health by 25. But let's add another layer um, and let's make an if statement and basically ask if the um, player health, so let's grab player health, if we're less than or equal to zero, meaning if we died, let's print to the screen that we're dead, right? So let's go condition. Um, if this is true, then let's print to the screen, print string, and let's print you are dead. And in a future tutorial, if you guys want, I can make a more uh, sophisticated dead way instead of just it always being like this we can make a whole functionality for it and make it a lot better with like maybe like ragdoll physics and stuff like that but if we go into the game now you'll see in the bottom left we have a little bar and when i press the h key it makes the health go down incrementally by 25 so now it's 50 25 again and now zero and in the top left it says you are dead for like a couple seconds and then it goes away but yeah, I mean, that's the whole tutorial. Um, and as you see, if you go back into the game, it's at 100. So if you want to make a system where it remembers the character's health and then um, brings it back to their health beforehand, you would have to probably store the variable in a different way and make it so it registers um, upon spawn. But yeah, I hope you guys liked the tutorial. Remember, if you guys do, leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more computer science topics and tutorials for Unreal Engine and other web dev or game dev or any computer science development. But yeah, have a good day. I'll see you guys later.